Hi, Steve here in the Down to Earth Woodworking Shop. I'm really excited because I'm getting ready to start a pretty big project. It's going to have about 60 mortise and tenon joints, and I'm going to be cutting all of the tenons by hand. Uh, one of the reasons that I'm going to do that is because I want to use my new Lee Nielsen medium shoulder plane to trim the tenons and get a perfect fit. And I'm learning how to do that, so we'll uh, go through the process together. I've broken the video into three parts to make each one a little shorter. The first part is on marking out the tenon. The second part is on sawing the tenon out. And the third part is using this tool to achieve a perfect fit. So let's get going with part one, marking out the tenons. Now I started by cutting a two inch long mortise here. It's about an inch and an eighth deep, and it's a quarter inch wide. And I'm going to mark out on this board where I want the tenon to be cut. Okay, as I mentioned before, the uh, mortise is about an inch and an eighth deep, so I've set the marking gauge for that depth, and I'm simply going to go around and mark the depth of the tenon on all four sides of the wood. These edge pieces are a little bit more tricky to mark, but we'll get it. I set my marking gauge, since this is three quarter inch stock, just a little shy of a quarter inch. That's going to make my tenon just a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch. And I simply slide it across, take a couple of passes, and make a nice deep little cut here on both sides. And this will assure that my tenon is centered on the board, which is what I want for this cut. Okay, so now I'm going to connect the dots. And from my shoulder line, I'll draw the lines up the side to form the cut lines for my tenon. Before I go to the next step, I want to double check and make sure that I have marked this tenon just a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch, and indeed it is. My last step in marking out the tenon for cutting is an old trick you've probably seen, but uh, rub some chalk along your cut lines, wipe off the excess, and those lines will show up nice and sharp. This works really good on dark wood, but it works good on this maple as well. 